is widely believed that in order to have a balanced sense of yourself and where you come from and where you're going, it's a great idea to get some experience traveling abroad. Now here to share some thoughts on ways that you can do this are the MD of Pride Factor, Dean Buerta, and internationally qualified yoga instructor, Kayla Platt. Good morning. How are you, Kayla? Good very to see you. Lovely to see you too. Oh, good How to have you? you here. I'm very, very well. Thank you. And of course, Dean, regular morning. face on our couch. Morning, morning. I want to ask you guys, we talked about uh, the whole issue of a gap year, mm -hmm. but I wanted so badly to straight after high school and even after university to be able to travel. Mm -hmm. I wasn't able to. Dean, what are the benefits of being able to do that straight after high school or varsity? Um... Yeah, and I think, I think travel is some of the best education you'll ever come across. Yeah. And it's, it's the experiential uh, education. So, I mean, getting to see different places, meet different people, experience different cultures, flavors, all those kind of things can, can do nothing but educate you yeah. and inspire you to look for other opportunities. So I think if you are fortunate enough to take a gap year, take it. Yeah. But uh, obviously it's not available to all of us. I think it's so wonderful. It gives you such a global outlook. You know, I think there's um, there's a real kind of issue in South Africa where you're born in a particular place, you grow up there, you get married there, you die, then that's the sum total of your life. And if you are able to travel, that's an amazing thing. But Kayla, I want to ask you, what are some of the options available to any person who wants to take a little bit of a break after studies to travel and gain some sense of themselves in the world? Well, for example, something that I'm used to doing is what I the option that I took was working on a super yacht. Oh, wow. And it's open to everyone out there, studying yeah. straight, after studying straight after school, anything. You know, you can jump right into it if you want to, is what mm -hmm. I did. I was 18 years old, hopped onto a super yacht, did wow. some training in Cape Town, and yeah, that was it. That was, oh. found my passion through on yoga, doing yoga. And yeah, amazing life goals. <laughs> I wish I'd had that opportunity, but if I'm honest, um, it wasn't available to me in terms of my family. They were like, you go and study, you go and work, you go and earn money, you make a living. Yeah. And I would have so much love to do that. But let's look at the other end of the spectrum. What if someone's already working mm -hmm. and they want to take a little bit of a break to travel? Is it a good idea? Well, oh, doing the super yachts, you know, there is a, a salary that you can earn through it. Yeah. So by doing a few courses, you can hop onto a yacht. It's quite easy to get a job starting low down if, you, yeah. if you're good with that, if you can tolerate being the junior of the lot. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so it's something that will provide an income, a constant income, and then you're traveling, seeing the world, meeting great people, and yeah. yeah. Dean, what would your advice be to somebody who's currently sitting in that position? Uh, you have a passion, you want to see the world, you want to expand your world view. Um, what are some of the other options that are available to young people? Follow your passion. I think, yeah. I think that's our, our kind of key message throughout is follow your passion. Yeah. At the end of your day, the parents, your parents will always want you to live the happiest life possible. Yes. And if you're doing something that you're passionate about, much like Kayla, traveling the world, meeting people, working on super yachts, experiencing different countries, she seems to have a rather big smile on her face <laughs> when she comes back from these trips. A glowing so face, yes. I, I think that's it, is, is follow your passion as much as you possibly can. Fortunately, as we've discussed, with it being the information age, mm. you can do more than one thing at the same time. Yeah. You know, okay, there's a leading example of that as well, being studying, studying entrepreneurship and traveling. Yes. You know, she kind of went through the whole rigmarole. Love it. But we are certainly living in exciting times with so many more options than when we were younger. Hey, young people <laughs> certainly have the best of all worlds. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank and you. hopefully we'll be chatting again very soon. I love these talks. They excite me so much. Now, your whole worldview can be expanded and changed by an experience abroad. And if it's coupled with advancing your career, then the growth and opportunity to be gained is even more sweet.